So in this video, guys, I wanna talk about something that's really, really important. And uh, it's something that I learned from a guy that really, literally changed my life. And he was one of the best with women that I'd ever seen. And he changed my life because of a simple thing. He looked like me. He could have been my brother. He was the same height, same weight. He had the same look as me. Uh, and I realized he was amazing with women. And at the time I was terrible. And I said, wow, if this guy can be amazing, then so can I. But at the time, I always thought it was my looks. I thought it was something about me. And that was a huge shift. Now, one of the things this guy, who was so amazing with women, and he actually lived in a van, uh, and he'd take women back to the van. And one of the things this guy did that was so amazing, uh, said to me, excuse me, is he said, Brian, you know, guys uh, think too much. And you shouldn't be thinking when you're out meeting women. Stop all the thinking. And I thought about this, and I was like, you know, that's really true. And as I've gotten more into non-duality and meditation and mindset, I've realized it's more true than I've ever, ever thought possible. Most guys think way too much. They got routine stacks or they used to back in the day and they got all these thoughts. What should I say next? How should I say it? Uh, that type of stuff. And it just doesn't work. And by the way, if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to give you my step-by-step -step process of how, how I shifted this area of my life because I was one of those thinkers. I thought constantly. I had 50 million thoughts in my head and the girls couldn't feel me because I was thinking and not feeling. And that's the real problem. So what do you do about this? How do you fix it? It is a big question. But before we get into that, let's go a little deeper. I had a client once and I want to share the story of this client who had this problem and, and what I saw in him. And it was really interesting because this client, I went out with him to a mall and he was approaching girls. He's direct approaching girls and he was good at it, but he couldn't get a date. He said he'd been direct approaching for about two months and he still hadn't had a date. And he'd been doing it about two hours a day. And I said, that doesn't make any sense at all. That, 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 by sheer luck, you should have gotten a date by now. So I was watching him walk around the mall and I'd see him walk up to these girls and he'd go direct, really direct, really good too. Like, bam, tension, conduit, everything was there. And he'd start flirting and the girls would lock in and they'd start leaning in. I'm like, this looks great. These girls are locking in, they really like them. And then he'd stop talking suddenly because he said something, it was time for them to speak and he'd sit back and then I'd see him go right up into his head. This total, he's totally thinking about everything she was saying. And I'd see her get confused. Like I'd see her pull back and he'd kill that little bubble, that connection, that lean in. And then she'd stop talking, he'd start talking and he'd lean in again. And he'd connect again and she'd pull in again. And I noticed this went on over and over and over again through the whole conversation. And I'm sure it just kind of confused the girls. And so he wasn't getting dates because of it. So I gave him a simple instruction. I said, the next girl, actually my friend, my, my business partner gave him, gave him this first instruction. The next girl that uh, you talk to, I don't want you to think about what to say. Don't think about anything. Matter of fact, just ask boring questions. Let's make it easy on you. You're so good at connecting and feeling. Stay there and say, you know, what do you do for a living? Oh, where are you from? Stick with the basics for now. Even though everybody would tell you don't do that, that's boring stuff. You got such feelings, such good communication skills, it won't matter, you know? So let's, let's just have you do that. And he's like, okay. And he was nervous and he was like, I don't know if I should do this. And I said, and I got one more challenge for you. If one of these ladies that you walk up to starts to really connect and lean in i want to invite you because he was afraid to ask them out uh, on instant dates and stuff i want to invite you to uh, invite her home right away to say hey why don't you come back to my place you know i got a bottle of wine we can hang out and he's like okay i can do that he was a little nervous about it and the very first girl he went up to was this beautiful girl from um she was scandinavian i believe I'm not sure where from, I can't remember. And they started talking and I saw that lean in start right away and it was beautiful. And I was like, yeah, it's on. And then she started to talk and he stayed right there. And he stayed with basics and he kept working it. And she leaned in more and then he leaned in more. And this went on for a few minutes and I was watching from a distance. I couldn't hear everything they were saying, but I knew it was on. So then suddenly he leans in a little deeper and he says something. And then he gets all nervous and suddenly pops into his head. And then he goes, oh, okay, gotta go. I'll, yeah, I, I understand. And he, he takes off and he comes back and he leaves. And then we catch up with him. We're like, what did you do? What happened there? And he goes, well, we were going back and forth. It was going really well and she was leaning in. And then I did it. I asked her back to my place. I said, hey, I got a bottle of wine. You know, why don't you come back to my place with me? We can kick back. 
get to know each other a little better and kind of go from there. And she leaned back in and she goes, I don't know, I have a boyfriend, but maybe. And then I got really nervous, scared, popped into my head and ran away. And he goes, I couldn't handle it. I, he said, I, it was gonna work, it seemed like. And I just got really scared and ran away. And he really learned a valuable lesson from that because that changed his life. Even though he didn't follow it through, it was a huge win. Something I would encourage all of you to write down a success journal if you had a similar experience. Because from that point on, he started getting regular dates. He got it. He got what he was doing and he fixed it. He stopped thinking. Now, how do you solve this problem? If you have no game, no skill, how do you solve this problem? This is what I promised you at the beginning of the video. I go through my step-by-step -step process and what I use for so many clients. If you want to learn any sport, any, any athletic ability, anything really, even stuff that's mental, you do it a little bit at a time, tiny little chunks. We call it the 1% rule. So the first thing, when I used to go out and approach, I would go out and approach everybody, not just beautiful women. Of course, the beautiful women too, throughout the day. But, I would, but in the beginning, if I had no skill, I let go of the intention of trying to seduce a woman or get her phone number. If it happened, great. I wasn't attached to that idea. I just wanted to go up and, and maybe in the beginning, I'm just gonna go up for the next 10, 20 girls, 10, 20 people, groups with girls in them. I'm gonna ask them the time. I'm gonna ask them directions and see if I could practice relaxing. And I would relax, relax, relax. And then for the next 10, 20, I'd, can I just feel my heart with them? Can I have a nice little heart connection? Ah, that was good, I could do that. And then I'd journal my journal, how, how well I could feel the heart warmth in the heart. For the next 20, I might try to remember their eye con color. I really look at their eyes and enjoy their eyes. Can I remember their eye color? And then, and this might be done over days, depending on how many you do in a day. And remember, I'm stopping everybody. It doesn't matter if they're attractive, unattractive. I'm just a asking questions, having conversations. If they happen to be attractive, then I can move it forward as, you know, as show some interest and move in that direction if I feel I'm ready for that. For the next 20, I might feel my heart in its relationship to the stomach, the grounding my heart into the stomach, which we talk a lot about in our embodiment. I might feel my legs and the earth supporting me on the ground. I might step, for the next 20, I might be feeling my back a little bit and how my back supports my heart and allows me to open. You know, and with each one, I'm feeling a little bit deeper. If you understand how the conduit works, it's a principle we teach or the bubble, I would, might take 20 or, or so and feel that for a little bit. And then I might start through that cycle again, that whole cycle I just did there. I might practice expressing more for 20, big energy, and then notice how it feels. I might practice expressing more, big energy, and notice how that feels for 20, and then journal about that. Every day, I'm working on a new skill set, just like an athlete would do in sports, right? If you're on a football team, you might be practicing uh, uh, sprints. You might be out there passing the football. You might be practicing catching and, and people trying to, you know, uh, getting, evading tackles. You know, there's so many things you can do. Think about all the steps that go into surfing or snowboarding. Like I'm a big skier snowboarder, right? Just to get somebody on the first day to do the basics of skiing. I just taught somebody and it took all day to get her going down the hill in a basic uh, wedge. You know, they call, some people call it a snow plow or pizza and a wedge down the hill, but she was doing it by the end of the day. And that, that was amazing. She was killing it. Is she anywhere near getting off the, uh, the bunny slopes? No, well, <laughs> she'll get there if she keeps going. So you've got to give yourself that kind of time. And by only focusing, not thinking, and focusing on one idea at a time, letting go of all thought and just one idea at a time, you can learn a lot. Muscle memory starts to develop. Just work that one idea and keep letting go of all desire to analyze it or think about it uh, to go through it. Now, my friend that was so good with women, he said one thing, all the analyzation is done after the interactions with women. So I'd have an interaction with women, I'd set my brain free, I'd just flow and work on flowing. And then afterwards, I write down the experience. And this is the key, write it all down, write everything that you learned and realized and what you learned from it and what you could do better next time. He says, that's when I thought about it. That's when I visualize, that's when I imagine. I imagine, okay, next time I'll do this and I'd re-see the scene with me doing that new behavior. Or next time I'll do this. And then once he puts it in the journal, he analyzes it, he meditates on it, he sleeps on it. It starts to change the way he behaves when he's with the women, naturally. Flow state starts to kick in more and more. You know how much I love flow state and communication. That's what it's all about, guys. Flow state, setting yourself free, having fun, okay? So remember, one thing at a time. You just heard me make a whole list of things you could work on. I'm sure you could make a 
a, a ton more, one percentage that you could work on. Journal them. Do, do 10, 20 of them at a time. I can do five stops in a few minutes if I want, if I want to go quick. If I want to take my time and I'm working on longer conversations, that's a different skill set. Can I make the conversation last? Here's another one. Can I make the conversation last more than 30 seconds every time? Can I make the conversation last more than 45? Can I make the conversation last more than a minute? Those are each specific one things you can work on. Set a timer and put it in your pocket and go from there. And so I would encourage you guys to get out there and do this and just write stuff down and work on one thing at a time and just keep letting go of any thought, analyzation, and contemplate what you did after the interaction's over. Write it down. Let's say you did five interactions, 10 interactions. Take your journal, take your notebook out, sit at a coffee shop, write down everything you did, everything you realized, everything you learned, and trust that stuff is getting in your subconscious mind. And then after you write it all down, you can visualize your new way of being. The, doing it all perfect exactly like you want and over weeks and months you're going to get better and better and better just like you would on a snowboard a surfboard uh skis whatever you're doing dancing you're just going to get better and better and better so hopefully you enjoyed this video uh make sure to like make sure to subscribe make sure to share help us to grow the channel help us to get to that hundred thousand subscribers help us to bring you better and better content make sure to comment it really affects the youtube ai and causes youtube to recommend us more so we can grow the channel faster and we're doing this all for you guys remember all this content is free so just a little like or a little share here and there really helps us out a lot, okay? I want you to check out another video that I think will help you a lot with this, and it's Approaching Women Like a Natural. I recently did that video. You'll see, uh, you'll see a link for it somewhere in here, and that can really help add a piece to this. You can understand how men that naturally get this think and how they operate and how, how they kind of unconsciously do this without thinking. So check that video out, link somewhere in here. And I think that's it. So have a beautiful day. Uh, this is Brian here in Bozeman. One more time, I'll see you in the next video. And what would you do if you were fearless? And again, put in the comments, do you like that one or only the confident really live? Which do you like better? Let me know. I'll see you in the next video, bye.